In lesson seven, we learned about the rhetorical situation, audience and purpose, and how the rhetorical situation affects the choices we make when writing and revising technical documents. In lesson eight, we'll be focusing on three of the most common forms of technical documents, letters, memos, and emails. In addition to the letter you must write for a job application packet, you will likely write numerous letters, memos, and emails throughout your professional career. We'll be taking a look at the conventions of each of these forms of communication in the second part of this lesson. But don't forget, you should continue working on your job packet, which is due in Lesson 9.